Okay, so at school there are always these different types of students. I guess you look happier, you do. Now you can spot these students from a mile away. Of course, the type of people that you will be seeing in every school, in every classroom, everyone has them. They are just always going to be there. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, some of them are just, I don't really know. Just, just let's get into this video and I, I'll, I'll explain it when I get to all this, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay, so in every classroom, this student is inevitable. Now, <laughs> the teacher's pet. If you have not heard of what the teacher's pet is, then you are probably the teacher's pet yourself. So what the teacher's pet is, they are basically a student that is always around the teacher, always there to laugh at their jokes even if they're not funny. They ask stupid questions to get around the teacher. It's like they have a crush on the teacher, which they probably do deep down. Or they just are in love with school and they just always want to be around their teachers, which they do. So the teacher's pet is always, it's always that one student that sits in the front of the row where the teacher is talking and just goes there like just staring up at the teacher, listening to every word, daydreaming about the teacher probably. And so the teacher will probably find this student extremely annoying and so will the other classmates. The next student that you will probably find at every school is the star so this student everybody loves like all the teachers are obsessed with this student and it's kind of like the teacher's pet pet but vice versa so the teachers are in love with the student instead so this star teacher is no this star student is like a football player like captain of the football team you always see in teen drama films and all that like you just see this student that is athletic and is really good at stuff and everybody loves at the school for absolutely no reason just because they're sporty or athletic or they do a certain thing like just say at a nerdy school someone who's really smart or someone who will probably go somewhere in life just all the teachers love this student and that it is known as the the star of the school so like what I mentioned before a football captain like in every 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 teen film there is always this star that basically a football football or i don't know sometimes lacrosse i don't even know what that is half of the time like i'm so confused of what that is and why would these students be the star just because they play sport or do something okay the next student is the shy one so this student will sit in the back not pay attention, just do their work like they want. They are just like, so just say there is tables and group conversations. This student will avoid all of that interaction. They, it might be part of their religion, like they don't believe in any of that stuff and like being around with other people. So sometimes that can cause the shy student, but most of the time this student is just never there and just is always in the back not contributing to any discussions and they always act dumb hi my name's emily welcome to the school and then it's just like hi my name's blah, blah, blah. okay the next one is the class clown so again this student is kind of like the teacher's pet but in the teacher's role instead so it, go out of their way to try to make them laugh and it normally doesn't work like sometimes their jokes are funny but normally they really suck and people kind of pity laugh them so it's just like my teacher does these weird jokes and they are dad jokes and that's kind of the way with the class clown they try to make people laugh sometimes yeah the class clown is so funny and people just like them a lot Sometimes the star can also be the class clown, so no matter what they say, they will laugh. But the that's the other way with the class clown, because sometimes they just say the most dumbest things. Okay, the next one is the drama queen. Well, so the drama queen is someone who just loves the drama, loves the gossip. They are kind of like the it girl. 
they just need to know everything or else it seems like they will have a mental breakdown. Like, if you don't tell them the gossip, it's like they will seriously just pass out and... What, what? So, the drama queen is somebody who just craves the attention, craves the gossip. If they don't get any of that, I think that they will explode, like literally explode. So, that is what the drama queen does. And they just say you tell them something, they will blow it out of proportion for absolutely no reason. And it is so weird and you never want to trust these drama queens because it will probably spread. They're kind of like the gossip girls. Oh my god. What up TV reference? Oh yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of like gossip people and just, I don't know, just people that crave attention and they must know everything going on with everyone at every time. Okay, this person is the most hated person but also the most loved person at the school. The bully. So, the bully will probably travel in big crowds of people. Mm-hmm big big crowds of people so they have this huge group of people which probably don't like them but they're just too scared for, with but they're just too scared of this bully so that they don't want to reject them but actually everybody hates them so this person is normally a smart ass it's normally just rude plain old just a bitch and you can't stop this person they always do it to make you jealous and once you have a bully, they won't stop ruining your life. Trust me, I know from personal experience, it just keeps happening and happening and happening. Even if you never talk to them, they will still find a way to make everything your fault, blame it on you, ruin all of your relationships and friendships, and just take it from me, I know. So this bully is really rude and you do not want to be in contact with this person, even if you think, oh my god, they're so popular. No, they know everything about everyone. I just quoted another thing from Mean Girls. Regina George knows everything about everyone. Okay guys, so that is all of the types of students that I am going to be doing in this video. If you did like this, I will do a part two because I still have like a bunch more of students since I am in school and I just, I'm always thinking of things for like students and school and yeah so if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like subscribe turn the press notifications follow me on the instagram and do all that great stuff that all youtubers love and yeah um if you have not seen my last video go and check it out it is pretty awesome i explained the pixar theory and it was very complicated, but very fun. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video again. I love you guys so much. And bye. Peace. Ah.